Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Happy New Year. <laughs> I will you all rung it in with love and light that you were with your loved ones, that you had some good company, that you set some goals for yourselves. Maybe some of y'all did vision boards. Um, I definitely feel like you're entering into this year uh, very excited, you know, very optimistic um very empowered um for anyone who may be new welcome my name is q i too am a scorpio i am empathic i'm intuitive and i am also clairaudient so you will hear music playing in the background and i do incorporate those messages into the reading and it tends to blend very beautifully um this is a general reading so that means eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply let it fly by do not try to force a story to be your story you are more than just your sun sign so check your mercury check your rising check your mars check your ascending check your venus check your other placements to find a more clear concise message for you um this is also a timeless reading so whenever you find yourself clicking on this video that is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so um i do want to call upon the elements of water fire earth air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light for our beloved Scorpios. And I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards and so it is so won't it be ashe 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 so what was just playing or what is still playing is mary j blige's i love you so i feel scorpios someone is having some sort of epiphany a realization a revelation of love um and look what i pick up on the bottom of the deck we have desire so someone's desiring you someone's yearning for you longing for you um realizing they love you according to mary j blige um this person i feel there's no communication i feel this person thinks of you a lot they may dream of you have lucid dreams of them embracing you and there's this this eruption within them that they can no longer suppress no longer hold back and it's this emotional connection this synergy this con this chemistry that they feel for you i'm hearing longing for you yearning so there's like this you know and they and they've been keeping this secret you know these are their private thoughts so like i said maybe some of them they could even be looking at photos of you and they're they're you know observing these photos and they're only you know their feelings are intensifying um you know maybe they watch you on the world wide web maybe they watch your social media um this is someone that definitely they hide these feelings these emotions you know but i feel like there's going to come a moment where this is um you know they're going to manifest um some sort of action taking action so on the split we have adventure so there is this voyage, you know, is it sense that there's distance also a travel that's necessary. Um, but I do feel like, you know, um, with this adventure, this is like somebody is finally stepping out of their head and is going to take a leap of faith or take this journey, you know, follow uh, their heart's truest desires, you know, and this is going to lead to some sort of ride, some sort of experience and they're there for the ride. See this, this is what this person has been like, you know, really trying to muster up the strength, like to become assertive. You know, this is the leadership card. So they've been kind of like mustering up the strength, the courage, and even the wisdom, you know, to go after uh, whatever it is they wish to pursue. You know, this, this requires, you know, an energy of, of power, strength, uh, confidence, um, you know, emotional intelligence, social intelligence. Um, and we have Rick James, Ebony Eyes is playing. So this person definitely, I feel like maybe this person also um, sees you as someone that's like a very divine feminine, very creative, very wise, very artistic, um, very empowering, inspirational, um, very loving and nurturing, very gifted. Um, they may see you as a, like a spiritual leader, teacher, uh, some sort of um, orator. 
Uh, maybe they watch you online. Maybe some of you all have your own uh, social platforms where you may utilize your voice and you may have like, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, people that you are connected with on that on that same vibration, you know, on that same frequency. So, you know, they may see that you have um, some level of stardom, like you're seen as, you know, just a ray of light. You radiate you know, some sense of success in their eyes. And um, they're, they're wanting to take some sort of action, you know, come towards you. Um, like I said, they may have to travel. Um, this has been like, um, you know, maybe this connection for some degree has been like, you know, almost like um, this constant merry-go-round. Y'all could never kind of, you know, meet on the same wavelength. It's always been like this maze. It's always been this this very dismal um and lackluster uh, experience. It's like you start off, but then it just, it kind of like gets confusing, you know, and I feel like it's because, you know, maybe somebody was a little intimidated by someone else's strength or, you know, maybe there's the sense that uh, someone has also, um, you know, control issues and they're trying to, you know, to avoid something, but it's, it's like they come full circle, you know, they go down this dark path only to discover that, you know, they need to surrender, you know, because they've been running from something. Maybe this is ego, you know, this is like, you know, refusing to see things for what it is. And with ebony eyes, some of you all have some very beautiful brown eyes, almond shaped eyes, um, almond colored eyes, uh, maybe hazel eyes. Um, and someone feels like this, this very deep emotion um, they feel drawn to you. They feel the synergy. They feel like you, you know, like you speak their love language that, you know, maybe they could even communicate, be communicating with you to, to get you out of this confusion or out of this haze. Maybe they're in this space and you're kind of, you know, leading them out of this, um, this haze or this, this, uh, maze, I should say that they're in, but it's a mental haze that they're also locked in with the truth. Someone's discovering the truth. And this truth is, like I said, that there's like balance here, emotional fulfillment. There's like this this um, chemistry, synergy, connectivity. Um, this is a beautiful um, energy of like even intuitive uh, communication, um, picking up on one another's energy intuitively, or just like, you know, travel. Someone following their heart or following where they're being led. Um, but this is the truth. You know, maybe someone is coming to you, traveling to you to speak a truth. With Ebony Eyes by Rick James, I do feel like, you know, this person definitely um, has come to some sort of, like, grand epiphany that they have this love, this deep love, this emotion. They want another chance. This is judgment. So maybe there was something that took place. There was a karmic situation. Um, you know, maybe someone was bound or stuck. Maybe the both of you were breaking free from some sort of... Um, yokes or karmic connections generational curses and the two of you met one another mirroring one another and you both had to go on your own voyage to transform to to you know shift your energy to grow to evolve to heal and i feel like now there's this this um opportunity to um perhaps you know heal a connection revisit a connection reconcile a situation transform it for the better um i feel like compassion is necessary because this is like you know the divine saying the both of you um are meeting at you know pr literally the same you know in the same um space and time for a reason um and something can transform someone does love looking into your eyes uh this person definitely is someone that if the divine is saying don't judge them don't judge the situation because you know this is a it was predestined you know this is a treasure this is someone that treasures you this is someone that could very well, you know, feel that they want to gift you with something. They want to gift you with, you know, perhaps commitment long term. And with this shell, you know, I do feel like they they send you messages, you know, um, you know, even if they visit you via your dreams, um, they see you as a star as well. They feel you ground them. They feel you, you know, like I said, you speak their love language and you feel, you know, you, you're, you're very compassionate. They may see you as very compassionate, caring, um, considerate, thoughtful, patient, you know, very loving, very balanced, you know, um, they see you also, you know, as someone very spiritual, like you could be a tower reader, some of y'all, some of y'all could be going to tower readings to just seek, you know, you know, wise counsel or higher 
level of knowledge about your circumstance, just getting those those little um, confirmations of what you already know. Um, but I do feel like for some of y'all, this is your like your calling, your gift. Um, this is what you do. Um, if not, this is what you are being told to do. Like I feel like this is your sovereignty. So this is what's in your blood. This is what you, like I said, this is your soul's mission. You are all very, um, very wise, very, very skilled, very um, much in a space where you feel very free, very safe. Uh, you created a very safe haven for yourself. Like you, you have a sense of like, you know, what wisdom, you know, about you. Like you're seen as very wise. You know, people come to you for advice. You're very knowledgeable you know very spiritual very earthy down to earth you you've been through a lot which is why you're um you know so witty so wise because you've experienced a lot in your life and you've you know you've overcome a lot of of trials tribulations um and you're at peace you know you're not bitter you're not angry um you're very protective of your energy you're also embracing your sexuality you're very sensual, very um, loving to yourself now. This is about self-discipline and self-care. Um, we have um, Harold Mevin in the Blue Notes, if you don't know me by now. So I feel like, you know, maybe somebody is almost kind of watching the transform in front of their eyes. And it's like they have to reintroduce themselves to you because you've transformed so much. So with this compassion... It's like showing, you know, being patient, you know, not judgmental of others, being, you know, caring and kind. Um, someone may need some, some compassion because maybe they made rational decisions in the past and they are needing someone to just lend them a, like a shoulder, you know. Um, this is trust, so trust is a factor with you, and that's probably why the divine is telling you to show compassion, because maybe this is someone who broke your trust in the past, and the divine is saying do not judge them on their past accounts to deal from this moment now. Uh, if you don't know me by now, see wisdom, you're very wise, you, you know, you, you're very wise, and that's why the divine is saying to act with compassion is like pretty much the same color scheme on both cards so this is really about you know being balanced being in harmony you know being empathic but using using your wisdom to move not moving out of emotion it's going to be communication coming in and you know, and that's why the divine is saying show compassion because someone is going to, I feel, come in and apologize. And this could be, you know, to some, like this is a challenge from the divine, like testing you to see how you respond because you are wise. This is someone that you have since, you know, you have like transformed tremendously. And this person is coming in as a very like childlike energy, very youthful, so they may not be where you are emotionally. But the divine is saying, you know, with this challenge, you have to know who you are, stand in your power, stand in your truth, as that card was showing earlier. So we have sovereign, oh, look at that, sanctuary. So you are in a very protective bubble. This is an energy, 1414, that's 5510. So after like going through a completion of a cycle, you've created this beautiful safe haven, you know, very tranquil space, a place of peace. You know, you've gone through many trials and tribulations. Um, you've learned how to heal yourself. You've learned how to manifest you are you know, very stable, very self-sufficient. You're always building your knowledge. You're always learning. Some of you could be practitioners, magis. I feel like many of you, like, 
you know, just kind of surrendered to the, to the divine and you found yourselves in more synergy, you know, in, a, in alignment, you definitely received a lot of uh, spiritual downloads, transmissions. Maybe you started to tap into your intuition. You started to um, use discernment more. Look at things from a different vantage point. This is leadership. And you took control. This is you taking control. Being in an energy of a leader, you know. Someone very powerful, very regal, you know, very intelligent, articulate, very compassionate, powerful, strong, wise, you know, a spiritual leader, a spiritual teacher, someone who's very um, confident, beautiful, attractive. This is a beautiful energy, very, very much someone who exhibits strength, courage, wisdom. This is the divine feminine, divine masculine. Someone very successful. And I see here with this song, many of you could also be uh, clairaudience or musicians. I feel a lot of you may be seeing cardinal birds as well. If you are seeing the red cardinal birds, that represents a masculine energy in the spirit realm. So maybe some of you are getting like little downloads or nudges from your father if they've transcended or a grandfather or an uncle or brother but this is um we have um Tyree singing shame so I do feel like you know a lot of you have been healing you know from past pain you know using music therapy or uh you know sound therapy as a way to heal from, you know, past pains. And that could be why the divine is saying show compassion. Maybe someone feels shame for how they treated you. And the divine is telling us to listen to this song because the name of this card is called Song. So I do feel like, you know, with this shame, somebody's feeling shameful. And the divine is reminding you to show compassion, to be non-judgmental, to give people their uh, chance to, to rectify, you know, a situation or to... Uh, apologize even more importantly you've you're wise so I do feel like you know you have you know really transformed you know you have grown this is about you you know kind of stepping into your power um, and you know you you've created a protective bubble there's a siren going off so I do feel like you know this is like um, definitely um, you know, just confirmation that somebody does feel shame. Um, with this energy also, some of you could be musicians. Uh, maybe you meditate by means of singing bowls. You know, maybe you have chimes, bells. You know, maybe you have, um, you know, drums. Maybe you have a guitar or you are a singer, a writer. Maybe you produce songs. But you use music um, as a form of healing, as a form of creative and uh, artistic expression and so we have magic you're very magical very powerful you're definitely um alchemists magis you are very strong in your gift you use candle magic as well see this some of y'all could be manifest in this love maybe you all are manifesting this person back to you or maybe this person is trying to manifest you i feel like whatever it is is magic involved you know, even if it's just an, a strong intuitive connection bond or telepathic connection or bond, there is um, this strong sense of connectivity, synergy, chemistry. Uh, there's um, an emotional or a soul tie, like a spiritual tie to someone. Deep passion, love. And it's intensifying. And with this, I feel like, you know, I, I, I feel there's... Um, love magic spells you know that are taking place someone's doing this you know someone is really trying to manifest um I, I feel like this this very uh spiritual connection you know maybe there's been a lot of blockages you know delays and so someone is 
been really, you know, kind of trying to speed up the process here. Um, let's see what else we got. Bottom of the deck, we got prosperity. So you definitely got some abundance coming in. You have to be receptive because the universe is literally pouring out abundance to you. See, what did I just say? Be receptive. So be open to receive because I feel like something you've been manifesting, you know, is, is absolutely um, is coming into fruition. Spend time by bodies of water because I do feel like it recharges, resets your batteries, rejuvenates you. It allows you to release. See that? This is like golden opportunities. So this is, you know, doors opening up, opportunities presenting themselves. I feel many of you are in the practice. Like I said, medicine woman, this is a healer. This is someone who has divine power, knowledge, wisdom, and they utilize their powers for good. So they could be channelers, they could be tower readers, clairvoyants, clairaudience, psychics. You know, this could be someone who's a seer, whatever the case, uh, you know, a magician, a magi, a freaking mystic. But this is, you know, the energy of you utilizing that energy, that power. And you're manifesting these. I feel like the divine is opening up these doors of opportunity, like granting wishes, you know, bringing wish fulfillment, bringing miracles, you know, answering prayers, petitions. So we have Mother Earth. So you are a healer. You know, this reminds me of like that Queen of Pentacles energy. And the Queen of Pentacles is very like down to earth, very practical, resourceful, domestic, nurturing, loving. But she's also very much um, grounded, balanced, and in aligned alignment. She knows she has a very beautiful connection to Mother Gaia. So this is like being in alignment, being in harmony, in synergy. You know, being able to feel energy. So this speaks to like empathic energy as well. You know, being empathic, being compassionate, you know. And we have Prince in the New Power Generation. This is called Cream. So, yeah, she's also very opulent, very successful. You know, Cream is cash rules everything around me, but this is Prince's Cream. But that's the, you know, analogy I heard when I heard Cream, which was Wu-Tang Song. So this person knows how to manifest, knows how to make money, is very self-sufficient. You know, this is like that independent entrepreneurial, you know, and this with this leadership here, you know, this is a very powerful energy. See, with focused intention, you can manifest whatever you want. You know, this is someone who is, like I said, that magi, you know, that mystic, you know, unwavering thoughts manifests. And you're using strength, courage, and wisdom. I feel like your wisdom... Um, thank you. So we have blossomy. So things are, are definitely harvesting right now. These are, you know, your, your, your past, you know, your hard work paying off, you know, um, you've had to have some sort of life experiences to become wise, you know, the application of knowledge is wisdom. So I feel like there's been a lot of circumstances and situations where you've had to apply the knowledge that you've obtained throughout your experiences and you've planted new seeds, you know, and now those seeds that you've planted are blossoming, which means you, it required a lot of patience, but you have going through a purification process. And now there's this sense of like, you know, opulence, growth, you know, you've also very spiritually, spiritually connected to the divine, very in tune, very, um, very connected. You know, this is the color purple, so this reminds me of, like, the crown chakra. So I feel like there's, you know, just a lot of cerebral activity. And these two owls, so that's duality. So I feel like you also are, you know, kind of, like, manifesting, um, like, a twin flame, a soulmate. You know, you could be connecting or manifesting someone that's, like, a spiritual um, partnership. You know, someone that's also very in tune, tapped in, you know. I feel like um, with this prince and the new power, I feel like with your new powers, with your, you know, your new, your new God-given um, gift of wisdom, wise dome, you've, like I said, learned to kind of like master manifest because this is already blossoming. Whatever seed you've planted is already blossoming and we have this divine passion. So there's a lot of passion, you know, this is desire. So, you know. Ebony Eyes was playing by Rick James. He also sings Fire and Desire. And so that's what I'm hearing here with this passion and this desire. 
Um, this is definitely a lot. This is like intensifying. This is erupting. And this is two people. So I feel you and someone else are both feeling this, um, which is what's keeping it alive. And now this passion is no longer can be contained. It's erupting. You know, it's causing an eruption. Um, with this sanctuary, I feel there's distance between you and this person. But you feel this strongly. You know, this is what's kind of, um, you know, maybe somebody is like self-pleasing themselves with cream. You know, with this uh, passion there is, and then with the eruption, I feel like that's like an, an analogy of someone like kind of like, you know, reaching a place of ecstasy. And I'm here, it's it's your ex. And they're saying, I'm not your ex, I'm your ecstasy. You know, so maybe you used to have really good, passionate um you know, sex with someone. But you have, like, created distance. You're at peace, you know? You're not thinking about this person. I feel like you've gone through um, a lot of, you know, soul-searching, Scorpios. Like, y'all have really healed um, from a lot of disappointment. I feel like there's there's been, like, a lot of betrayal, disappointment, I feel like it was family, friends, colleagues, lovers. Like, you've been very, very, um, you've been betrayed. You've been deceived. You've been taken for granted. You loved all of these people so much. But I feel like those lessons taught you to create boundaries, you know, to, to, Always protect yourself to prioritize your needs and not self-sabotage or overcompensate or to be givers and never, you know, be receptive, never demand what you need. I feel like you've learned so much and that's why you've created the safe space, the safe haven. You know, you've also created a connection with your spirit team. You know, you have altars, you utilize sound therapy, you do yoga. You know, you meditate, you connect with yourselves, you're very um, grounded. You know, this is a very protective energy, but someone who's also very spiritual, very wise. This person is drawn to you. This person feels a lot of attraction to you, and they long to speak to you. They have a lot of emotion that they feel. See this? You've, you've learned to stand on your own, to stand, you know, erect, to be independent. And this is why you have this sense of peace because, you know, you've discovered that your independence was the foundation for your strength, for your peace, for your happiness, even for your success. That's why you're in this position of leadership, you know, because you had to stand erect. You couldn't be in a codependent relationship, you know, and even though you've broken free from something, compassion is necessary. Not judging yourself, not judging the other person, but just learning from the lessons. And we have right now the Delphonics. La, 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 means I love you. That's what's playing. So show compassion because somebody's realizing they love you. They love you. They love seeing you in your power. They love seeing you stand on your square standing perpendicular in your square on your square they love seeing you have this confidence shine radiate love and light they see you as nurturing very creative very artistic very powerful master manifestors and they have a lot of love and compassion for you as well i feel they judge themselves on how they treated you before you know, because what they realize is they love you. You know, this person definitely realizes they love you and they see you as leaders. You know, seeing you in your power is what's really, you know, making them feel, you know, this intensity, this intensity, this, this urgency to come towards you. Divine passion flew back out, but look, you got boundaries up. So they, that's why I was feeling earlier like intimidation you know, a sense of intimidation because, you know, they, they're coming off a little juvenile, you know, especially emotionally, you know, because they're now coming in to reveal something you already knew and they tried to fight, you know, but they've been feeling this since the beginning with desire. I first picked up the deck, desire was there. I shuffled the deck, bottom of the deck, desire was still there. 
boundaries. You've created a safe space, a bubble. You know, this is what sanctuary is. This is a safe haven, not allowing none of the nonsense, the distractions, you know, none of the low vibrational energies to, to, to penetrate. You know, you've created distance. You're in a protective bubble. And you've learned to say no. You know, you've learned to, you know, say no to other people trying to demand your time, your energy. That's why you created like that sanctuary. You know, your home is a very, um, it's a very um, sacred space. You know, I feel like you have altars. I feel like you have certain signs and synchronicity, uh, symbols, excuse me, um, certain animal totems on the walls or certain scenery, certain statues, angels, deities, you know, certain symbols that represent a higher frequency or love or abundance. It's just like your space just is all, it is a sacred space. It's, a, it's like a sanctuary. It's a place of peace. You've created this very beautiful place of peace. Um, and that, that shines through. You know, it, it shines through. Like you, you know, you you radiate this happiness, this joy, this calm that's just attractive. And we have inner wisdom. So yeah, you. Some of you all d discovered like this is your your birthright. You know, being the magicians, the magi's, you know, the alchemists, the chemists, the healers. You know, it's like you're you're following. What spirit is telling you to do? You're trusting that inner wisdom, you know, and it's leading you to do certain things to either protect yourself or to draw in whatever it is you desire. You know, you're setting your intention and you're manifesting. Um, the divine is also telling you to take a leap of faith. This is pretty much like, you know, the card of surrender, you know, surrendering the need to control, you know, and just taking that risk, jumping, um, taking a leap of faith, you know. And just following your heart's true desires, you know, that's again, f you know, falling along the passions card, what's erupting, you know, and with true love, this is the divine saying, take a leap of faith when it comes to love, because I feel like you got a twin flame coming in. It says the romantic stirrings in your heart has propelled the universe to deliver great love. And this is exactly what this is, as well as this. So the two of you are mirroring one another. I feel like the magic that's taking place is a very, um, it's energetic, it's spiritual, it's like a soul tie, a spiritual tie. This could be like a past life love, you know? That's why the divine is saying take that leap of faith, trust what you feel intuitively, trust your inner gumption, music. So the divine is saying that the both of you may be hearing songs, music, um, that is communicating to one another so it's like it's sending uh, those those clear audience messages to you all and with this song um we have company b this is called fascinated so someone's very fascinated by your ability uh to to pick up on their energy maybe they like i said they may watch you online and some of you may be clear audience so you may write songs and you're literally picking up on their energy um the lyrics are speaking to their you know, to their emotion, to their, you know, feeling, um, and they're fascinated with you. Maybe music is making them aware that they are fascinated to the point where they are uh, attracted, you know, they're attracted to your boss mentality, you know, your, your, your leadership role skills, your, um, your assertiveness, your strength, your confidence, your beauty, your power, you know, your abundance, your success. This person definitely wants a love partnership. They are fascinated and they do see you as with fulfillment. I feel like what's very um, obvious is that this is someone that you both are, you know, you both are calling one another. There, there's strong mirroring here. A lot of mirroring, um, even with the two owls, and I feel like that's the you know, speaks to the wisdom, the intuition. You know, someone very cerebral. There's been a lot of healing necessary. Both of you mirroring one another again with the sixty-six. So 
Um, I just feel like this is someone you may know. Someone from your past wanting to return. Someone at a distance wanting to come towards you. This is someone who wants to invest. Wanting to build, connect. You know, this is someone who's definitely wanting a victory overall. You know, wanting to heal this connection, wanting to communicate. They know through communicating, you know, that there can be some sort of resolve. You know, whatever confusion that might be going on between the two of you, they know that communication can heal it. You know, communication eliminates all assumptions, you know. So whatever was confused in the past. See this? We got um, patience. So patience is... Of the essence here I feel like you know somebody's been going through um, a journey and and in order for this situation to become balanced um, you know divine timing is definitely um, a factor here because I feel like somebody is is, is trying to regain their their um, strength that's why I was picking up that you all are being called to be compassionate, non-judgmental, because you are seen as very wise. Um, so to obtain wise, dawn wisdom, you have to be wise on all levels, emotionally, um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, you know, whatever um, element. And this is what, you know, the divine is saying, you know, do not judge someone's lack of balance or confusion you know patience was necessary I feel like with this abundance there's reward you know you've been manifesting and there's reward there's success stability this is expansion and I feel like the divine is rewarding you you know Abundance is also like, you know, abundance of love, happiness, and this is all blossoming. Individuality, again, speaks to independence. Someone's fascinated at you being, you know, strong, independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, very wise, grounded. They're fascinated by you. There's also a lot of, you know, downloads, I feel like. You know, there's been divine downloads, interventions. You've followed, you know, instruction, guidance, and it led to this, which is why, you know, there's this sense that you're going to be rewarded. Things have changed. Someone wants change as well. You know, they want to change the fact that there's distance, that there's no communication. You know, with this independence, they maybe want to change you from being independent to being partnered up. We have self-love. So they know that you have been really loving on yourself, healing yourself, you know, really taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, protecting yourself, you know. Also learning who you are, what you like. They see you kind of like, you know, very confident now, very beautiful, very attractive, you know. You may also have a cat. You may have two cats. You may... um connect with Bass, the deity, the comedic, ancient comedic deity. Maybe you have a cat spirit animal, spirit totem. Maybe some of you all are tigers in Chinese zodiac or lion. But I feel like self-love makes you more attractive and I feel, you know, you all walked away from situations that were codependent or that um, definitely didn't serve your highest good where you felt like you were investing, 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 and nothing was being returned. I feel like with 61, you just knew that it was time to go because you trusted what you was feeling in your spirit. You trusted in, you know, your inner gumption, you know. You used discernment. And we have Jen, um, D'Angelo send it on. So you knew you had to carry on, move on. You know, you had to send this person on who was breadcrumbing you. You had to send them on their merry way, I'm hearing. 
because 61 tells me that you listen to your intuition with, you know, the seventh, you know, which is the crown chakra. And that tell you, look, you got the ability to be, you know, to, to be on your own. And when you, when you stood in your power, you completed something, you know, I, I feel like you see that karmic completion. I feel there was definitely a, a soul tie, some sort of karmic connection or some sort of, um, some sort of um, situation that was binding you, maybe a yoke, maybe some sort of generational factor, yoke, like I said. Um, but there's a completion, you know. Um, and this completion has led someone to now being honest with themselves, you know, and what, what it is they desire, what it is they, what it is that they yearn for. You know, this is like, you know, send it on. They're sending these messages telepathically, as I said, energetically, intuitively, like there's this, this deep connection. And I feel both of you had to break free from some yokes. Y'all both had to do your work. It was mirroring. You know, I was picking up on mirroring, you know. And with inner wisdom, you know, there's this owl again. So there's the third owl. And that three definitely is the um, solar plexus. So this is someone gaining, like, you know, strength mustering up the strength to leave something behind because whatever messages you're sending to them intuitively it's like it's 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 like a chain reaction it's they're picking up on your energy so as you heal as you complete cycles then they complete cycles you know as they do their deep dives you do your you know as you do your soul searching and deep dives they do the same but you're changing someone the music is also awakening someone like they're 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 coming more it's like they're they're um seeing more clear the need to 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 take a step forward to make a move you know to take action to to make an effort if they want to bring some sense of stability to the situation or to even like bring sense to the situation, you know, to ground the situation, to, you know, because they, they're gaining some sort of epiphany here, you know, that it, it, it's up to them. So they, wanna, they want to, I feel, make some sort of effort to come towards you, yeah, with daughter romance. So there's going to be some sort of um, offer. And this is going to lead to some sort of victory. You know, this is like a breakthrough here. Maybe, you know, and you just got to trust your intuition. You got Archangel Uriel. And this is the seventh. So that's the crown chakra. So like I said, there's a lot of communication. You and this person communicate a lot. Like y'all send each other messages. You may visit one another in the 5D, like in this uh, dream world. Like, is this a, see, third eye. Someone's in hermit mode. This is how you come, because there's this, like I said, that you, when you are emotionally withdrawn, it's like you're, you're inaccessible because you have a boundary, you know. You're very guarded. And so someone also, you know, sees that, feels that. Patience came out again under the same thing. Mirroring one another. Y'all both trying to be patient with the situation, but the angels and ancestors are trying to, like, nudge y'all to take action. You know, seven is, again, crown chakra, so 16 is seven again. So timing, divine timing, good things take time to create. There's been great lessons. There's been something destined also. This has been destined... And we have Donnie Hathaway, someday we'll all be free. So someone could be in a connect connection, which is why it's requiring so much patience. Because someone is breaking free from someone, and that's why the divine is saying don't judge. Because it's like they're, they're going through some sort of shadow work as well. 
clearing up a cycle, trying to also learn to be individuals after a codependent situation. See this third chakra, mustering up the strength, courage and wisdom to end something, to release, to stand in their power, you know, to practice self-love. This is this energy of wanting to make an offer scene. You're very stable, self-sufficient, independent, being a little intimidated. You may own a black cat. Maybe they see you as someone who um, is very domestic, very caring, nurturing, um, very regal, royal, divine feminine energy. They see you as someone who loves yourself, very nurturing, you know, very caring of yourself as well and those around you, but also very independent, very strong. And that you are um, absolutely, you know, you have emotional equilibrium balance. You're a spiritualist. So they see you as someone very powerful and very abundant. You got the door to value. So there could be some sort of abundance, opportunities, um, wish fulfillment coming in. So I'm hearing like, and this is something that's, um, it's like um, you reaping what you sowed with the contract. So this could be like, you know, getting some sort of, um, some payment, some sort of taxes, tax return this is getting some sort of um back taxes maybe um a business loan you know maybe you're getting a new vehicle this is a new home maybe you're purchasing homes um with this leadership you're, you're definitely successful and you're doing something you have a lot of passion for um whatever this is that you do it, it could be something spiritual like you could be um you know this could be like a spiritual career uh, some of you, like I said, could be tarot readers, psychics, intuitives. You may use music. Maybe you're musicians. Maybe you have, are vloggers. Maybe you have, um, you know, a, 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 maybe you're bloggers. Maybe you're, you have a podcast. Um, and this is something that is a part of your life's purpose. Yeah, this is, you know, with this yin-yang, you got twin flame coming in, but you're also very balanced here. You know, I see you like in harmony. You know, this is good karma. You know, yin yang and then this here. So you got good karma coming in. I feel like things are turning around in your favor, especially in terms of love. Because we got six here. So maybe some of you all will become married. You know, someone is dissolving. There's a dissolution of a marriage, which is making someone feel more balanced, more in harmony. Um, I feel like, you know, everything is going to kind of rule in your favor, you know. But um, this is bringing balance, harmony back into you, into your life. You're feeling more, um, more centered, more grounded, more at peace. So we have all tied up. So somebody's a little confused and conflicted. I'm gonna get an additional message that did fly out in reverse. I don't read reversals, but I do feel like. See, yeah, thank you. I knew that that wasn't your energy. I feel this is somebody else's energy who's kind of breaking free from some sort of karmic. Because remember, I feel like there's mirroring. You've completed a cycle. Someone's wrapping up a cycle. And that's why their, you know, patience is required. It came out twice. You have a lot of dual energy, passion, desire. That's pretty much the same. You have the two owls. Um, you also have this energy of inner wisdom. Um, you have leadership twice. Uh, individuality and independent, independent is the same. Um, but I do feel like, you know, we, even with all of this energy, um, this is showing that, you know, somebody has to, uh, you know, get out of their comfort zone. Someone has been very, like, you know, hold up, you know, very safe, you know, very um, doing what was safe, you know, and they could be up in their head, confused. This is self-deception. This is also listening to the wrong people with smooth operator playing by Sade. I feel like somebody, um, you know, has someone who's very smooth, very slick, you know, master manipulator, someone who can dupe and gaslight and mind fuck very easily. Uh, with this music just over it, I feel like, you know, they're definitely telling me to chime on on this song and I'm hearing smooth. So, yeah, they were they were dealing with someone who could have been also using uh, maybe some sort of um, love spells or some sort of magic spells to keep them stuck. Um, I feel like with you, you know, if someone was trying to manipulate your energy, you was picking up on that because you were very in tune. You're definitely very um, psychic as well. Um, but there is this energy that someone's trying to uh, muster up the strength to take a leap of faith, to change their circumstance. 
Um, they may receive a lot of messages, downloads, divine interventions, synchronicities, um, nudging them to get out of the space, to get out of their head, um, to break themselves free and to communicate because I feel like they're like concealing what they feel, concealing what they, you know, what they know, you know, this is like, you know, self-deception, as I said, um, you know, confusing the situation that doesn't have to be. Um, with this five, like I said, I do feel like, you know, that represents the throat chakra. But what we have here is there is a victory. And there's a victory over someone's indecisiveness, choosing, um, you know, should I go left or should I go right? Like, you know, torn between two forks in the road. It's like, I mean, a, a fork in the road, two directions. Um, but someone will victoriously make a decision. And this decision will be to come towards you, to go towards the person that makes them feel um rejuvenated, happy, um, you know, alive, you know, strong, um, powerful, capable, um, appreciated, loved, you know, this is that energy, you know, they're going to get away from somebody who was just, you know, someone who was a gaslighter, somebody who had the gift of gab. Um, this is breaking free from something, having a major breakthrough. So they're going to break free from these chains from whatever is binding them, keeping them stuck and stagnant. And they're receiving a lot of um, assistance from their spirit team, from their angels. Seven is a very angelic, powerful, spiritual number. Um, so I do feel like, you know, they're trusting their intuition. And spirit is guiding them to take action, to move forward, to, to move ahead, full steam ahead, to break free from something that they've been feeling confined and um, stuck in, kind of taking the easy way out. You know, just, just, you know, in their comfort zone and, and not willing to go towards what they know is, you know, their person. You know, they're looking directly at the yin-yang. So they're very much aware um, of this connection. And this is the number four, which always reminds me of 1111. So that's like twin flame, soulmate, mirroring energy, knowing how deep this connection is. But, you know, just kind of living in their head. So we have Sarat playing peace. So this person definitely, so with peace, I'm hearing the acronym positive energy activates constant elevation. So, you know, this is how you're manifesting um, by maintaining a positive outlook, by remaining compassionate, empathic, caring, um, you know, by also keeping your eyes on the prize, um, tapping into your creativity, your artistry, and not getting sidetracked. Um, unplugging, you know, going into that safe space, that sanctuary, building a sacred place for yourself, a place of peace where you could use sound therapy, meditation, where you can grow, learn, um, you know, and connect with your higher self, more importantly, to manifest whatever it is that you desire. Um, I feel like when you disconnect and unwind, um, it allows for you to receive like, really powerful downloads um, from spirit, from your spirit team. Um, especially when it comes to, you know, um, frenemies, enemies, snakes, people slithering around. You know when it's time to protect yourself. You know when it's time to protect your energy from energy vampires. Um, I feel like a lot of you all are, you know, being kind of like um, preyed on, um, you know, spied on, stalked, gang stalked, um, envied, um, hated on right now because... You know, many of you could be, like, really taking care of yourself, doing things you want to do. Um, we see that you have some sort of financial um, abundance or some sort of success financially. And you also are radiating the sense of, like, um, you know, divine feminine energy, knowing your worth, knowing your value, um, just living in opulence, you know, being very regal, seen as royal. Um, but you're also, like, you know, attracting love, attracting people who really want to come into union, wanting to connect with you, with your energy, um, wanting to bring that peace, love, light, wanting to have that happily ever after. Someone that speaks your love language. I feel like you, many of you, you know, broke free and learned from someone who is very um, controlling, narcissistic, self-centered, um, domineering, um, and you all just paid attention to the signs the divine was leaving you. You know, like I said, some of y'all when I saw the song card, we saw the red cardinal. Some of y'all were seeing red cardinals all the time. And that was your father, your grandfather, your brother, your uncle. You know, that was a male spirit, uh, spiritual parent, you know, guiding you on your path. That's why pay attention. God is trying to tell you something here. So the divine was giving you those little synchronistic messages. So that, you know, to help you come out of your head, 
and out of this stagnation um, where you were feeling like you were stuck at a fork in the road and all tied up. Um, so this chemistry is real. So like I said, there's no communication, but somebody's chemistry, the energy, the synergy um, draws them to you. And it's intensifying the feelings, this passion. It's erupting, you know. And this is, like I said, a mirroring effect. The chemistry between you and someone else is unspoken. So this means that this is something the two of you have not even communicated about. This is just, like I said, this duality, um, yin-yang energy again, you know. So let's go ahead. Chemistry is real. That's why patience is necessary because good things take time to create. We have Toby Maguire, Tabernacle. So some of you, this is your 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 um, divine feminine, divine masculine. I hear Tabernacle, I think of church. So some of you all will get married to this person, come into a partnership, a commitment um, with this individual. Um, and that's why I feel, you know, that compassion was called um, because you are... Um, very naturally uh, a healer. So you have a very loving, very open energy and others feel like they could come to you to seek advice, to, to you know, receive some sort of um, loving um, spoken word, you know, word of wis words of wisdom, if you will, food for thought. And, you know, maybe the two of you shared a lot of deep conversations. Um, they feel a very protective energy from you. Um, even in their childishness, you always were um, patient with them. Um, they recognize your patience, you know, um, more so than what they know they would even have been able to extend. So it's like they appreciate that. Um, they appreciate, you know, this, this, you know, very strong chemistry, you know, this, this, this nudge. Um, with Incubus Succubus, I feel like someone was absolutely tied to a uh, partner that was like an energy vampire, someone that sucks the life out of life, um, someone that really is negative, very low vibrational, like I was picking up, very controlling. And so they had to break free from that, and they had to muster up the courage to do so because this was very codependent. You know, this is like somebody just like on your shoulder, on your back. You know, very burdensome connection. And so with individuality, there was a need to to break free from this, to to cut this this tie and to plant new seeds, to, you know, rebuild a stronger foundation. Um, and in doing so, this led to, you know, gaining some sort of wisdom, you know, becoming wiser, you know, from the experiences. And I feel like both of your energies are here um, are represented on this card with the owls because I do feel like you and your person are mirroring one another and they are now awakening. So why is um, wise dome wisdom blossoming individuality and Archangel Sha Shamuel here? And so we have Karma Dharma. So see that? So this is definitely um, good things take time to create as I said and you know, hard work paying off. You know, the seeds that you've planted are blossoming. And we have mob deep shook ones. So see this energy? This is you, you know, your your hard work paying off. The seeds that you have sowed are now harvesting. It's bringing forth some sort of reward, blessing. Um, and I feel like, you know, with um, shook ones, somebody's also dealing with someone who's, you know, finally getting a dose of their karma. And they could be afraid, you know, uh, finally seeing, as I said, having some sort of epiphany um, as to, you know, why certain things may have transpired because they're in the thick of it. You know, they, they get, they're gaining, they're becoming scared, you know, but it's like they're also getting like some sort of like transmissions that, you know, this is the reason why you're going through this. And it's like they're getting like these these images are flashing within their subconscious, you know. The, the angels are working with this person, you know, to teach them. Um, you know, I'm hearing tough love, you know. So it's like you, you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to get back what you dish out. Um, and someone just has to stand firm on their square. As I said, you all uh, definitely um, was standing perpendicular in your square which is why, you know, this is um, this energy of self-love and independence and you being very self-sufficient here um, shows you, you know, really 
regaining um, control over a situation that really caused a lot of pain. You know, like I said, all of those mountains um, behind her is very symbolic of the trials, the tribulations, all of the trauma, the drama, the disappointment, the deception, backstabbing, like just discovering that you, you know, had a lot of people gunning for you, um, but healing from that, you know, evolving from that, um, putting it behind you, you know, learning that people are, you know, products of their environment, learning that people know not what they do and not holding that, um, that energy of, of, of angst and anger and, and frustration um, within you because you know the damage, it, you know, how damaging it can be to you. So you're, you've released it. You know, you've healed yourself. You're, 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 you're calm, cool and collected. Look at the water. You know, this ocean is very calm. So there's a sense of calmness, peace. You know, you've created a safe space, a safe haven a sacred space, a place, a, a space where you, you know, this is like your, your meditation station, if you will. And I feel like your independence has definitely, um, have become your foundation for your stability, for your strength, for your success. You know, you've learned self-love is far more attractive and you learn that you have to teach people how to treat you. You've learned to trust your emotions. You've learned to never submit your will to anyone, to never self-sabotage, overcompensate. And I feel like somebody shook because now you are, you know, in control. You've regained control. You've regained your independence. You're in alignment with your higher self now. And I feel like things are aligning perfectly for you. You know, you're attracting a lot. You know, there's also um, someone that sees you as, like, you know, a great partner. Um, that card flipped up and back down, so I just put it back in. So, synergy. So, things are definitely, um, you're attracting everything that you are. You know, like I said, you're radiating love and light, so you're attracting love and light. There's a mistress stalking your ass, I feel. You got somebody that's really stalking, spying. That's why I was picking up here with magic. Somebody could have had somebody doing magic spells, trying to keep somebody bound and stuck. You know, they may have some sort of like voodoo doll doing some sort of dumb shit to somebody's shit. Um, this is this mistress, and it's because they know that somebody they're fucking obsessed with has some strong desire, passion, love, attraction to you. And somehow this crazy bitch learned about it. With this completion, this could be somebody's ex. This could be someone that's meant to come to you. This is like your divine masculine, their ex, their karmic. They've ended some sort of karmic cycle with somebody, and this bitch won't let them go. You know, with the mistress, it says, is what they call me, and I answer to it. So maybe somebody um, prematurely got into a situation, and they're trying to jump their asses out of it. We have um, the prodigy. This is called Breathe. Yeah, this, this woman would not let them breathe. Like I said, obsession. Um, you know, definitely this person definitely may have filed some paperwork. I'm hearing a, a protection, a, what an order of protection uh, because they ended things. And then we have the song Breathe. So somebody's trying to breathe life back into a dead situation is what I picked up because somebody's definitely done, done, Finn. This is the contract. So there's like a divorce it's a legal proceeding. Somebody signing the paperwork like, no, I'm done. Somebody's also like, um, there's a word and I can't get it. Subpoena. In, there, somebody's being subpoenaed to go to court. And this could be from some old, you know, um, crazy ex you know, this is that bitter ex, just can't let it go, just still trying to see you by any means, any strategy. Um, good things take time to create. So it's like, this is what this person is trying to clear up so that you guys can come into union because the word patience is on here. It says patience, young grasshopper. And that's why patience came out twice. And that's why the divine is saying be compassionate because this person is going through hell and high water to get to you. You know, ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river wide enough to keep me from you. 
I literally just heard that loud in my mind's eye. And, and this is how they feel. Peaks and valleys. Look at the peaks and valleys that's behind you. I kept chiming in on the difficulties. Not only have you been going through this shit, but they've been going through it too. Remember, mirrors. Mirroring effect. So this is what I'm seeing and sensing here with both parties. Y'all are mirroring one another. They've been going through it as well. But with this, good things take time to create. I kept saying that with patience. Good things take time to create. These are happening behind the scenes. It's in the incubation step process. But somebody's really trying to wrap up a cycle here. You know, and what you will know, trust your inner gumption. This is what the divine is saying here. You'll know what to do. This is also the same as inner wisdom. You know, you'll know what to do in terms of protection, perhaps, even in terms of what action to take. Trust your inner gumption because you are the high priestess. You are psychic. You are the divine feminine. You know, you are the magi. You are the alchemist. You, you're the psychic, the clairvoyant, clairaudient. Like, you know. So trust what you feel, what you know, what you sense, because I feel you, you manifest in something. So just trust, you know, you'll, you'll know whether or not this is your person. You will know if that's your person or not. With the yoke has been broken, yep. See this? This is what I was picking up on. Somebody being like, being bound, you know, with a voodoo doll. I was hearing voodoo dolls. So somebody might have some sort of mojo doll or some sort of doll to, to try to keep somebody bound and stuck. But the yoke has been broken. The divine is seeing what's going on. And that's why there's like karma, dharma. You know, karma came out, that karma dharma. So whatever somebody was reaping and sowing, you know, whatever they was reaping in, whatever energy, whatever intention, they're going to get that back instantly, infinitely with trust issues. This is why some of you all have trust issues because of, you know, deception, betrayal. Maybe this person has trust issues and they're afraid to be hurt, which is why they could have ran from the connection, was noncommittal because they were hurt by this person after hearing the truth. Of what was going on, but I feel like it, you make them change, you know, the way they feel about, you know, relationships. They're trying to, you know, have faith in this connection, have faith in, you know, in what they feel. And we have average white band. This is called schoolboy crush. So this person has a crush on you, you know, but they're afraid because, like I said, they could be a little intimidated by you because you are. And this very strong, divine feminine, divine masculine energy with leadership. But this person does have, you know, a little trust issues, you know, afraid to be vulnerable. With pay entry increase, um, in lucrative business deals, there's definitely some positive changes coming in. These are, this is like, you know, a lot of um, rewards for all of the hard work, you know, for you growing, for you evolving, for you trusting the process. Somebody definitely is... Um, hearing music and the music is making them feel shame remember that song shame is playing by tyrese and so they have a guilty conscience you know because they know that you know perhaps maybe this is um you know they need to communicate you know maybe apologize maybe express something let me see the yoke has been broken why is spirit of love and light why is victory here why is victory why is victory here thank you spirit Judas, so you're having some sort of victory breakthrough over some sort of enemies, frenemies. I feel like your person is also breaking free from this toxic person, this person that was doing some sort of bullshit. This is somebody that was like, you know, speaking out the side of their mouth, just trying to keep somebody like really stuck, being deceptive, you know, um, give me one moment. Excuse me. But yeah, they realized like, you know, somebody was being very de um, deceptive. Somebody who was like gaslighting them and mind fucking them, you know, because we have a schoolboy crush. So this is somebody that they may have some history with, you know, and that's why they could have been, you know, compromising and trying to hold on, you know. But I feel like, you know, with this energy, this, this like victory over some sort of deceptive energy here. Um, because remember, that's why they was like stuck at this cross in the room. Because somebody was really, um, like I said, that gift of gavel. Um, but with, accept the apology you never received. That's what this person is going to have to do. 
And with synergy, this there's there's like a strong chemistry, man. This person is drawn to you. There's like they they just feel a pull. And the divine is telling you to accept the apology. Maybe that's what you all did. Maybe that's how you all got to this place. And that's why the divine is telling you to be compassionate, to not, um, you know, hold any, you know, any type of um, resentment, animosity towards someone. See, this wasn't I telling y'all y'all had like some some folks watching y'all. You know what I'm saying? There's somebody like watching you. You know, and I feel like it's not just this person that has this passion, this desire, that secret admire. But I feel like this is an ex karmics. This is like, you know, gang stalking. These are people like tuning into your channel. Remember, I was picking up somebody like looking at pics as well. So there is someone, you know, and, and, and that could be like like how they were led to you, you know, because, you know, they were they were feeling this, this synergy, this connection. They were feeling drawn to your energy. And there's, you know, some folks who are hating. You know, this is some folks who are trying to, you know, block this situation, trying to cause a delay or trying to, you know, bind you, you know, from this person, separate you two. And I feel like you have your angels and ancestors that are protecting you because I feel this is a spiritual or a, a, a spiritual partnership, a divine union, spiritual union. Like this is, you know, destined to take place because your angels are here. You know, they're definitely forewarning you, protecting you. From these Judases, from these snakes, these deceptive energies. So one card flew out and around. See that? Go deeper. You haven't even scratched the surface. So yeah. So absolutely. You know, so this also is the seventh chakra. So meditation, connecting directly to your higher self. You know, so this is like soul searching, deep diving. And we have Chub Rock. This is called Treat Him Right. So yeah, you realize like, you know. You, you deserve to be treated better than what you was being treated. Maybe someone that you was, are, are attracting to you is realizing that, you know, whoever this is that they're dealing with isn't treating them right. And they don't need to put up with it. They're realizing that you're beauty in every fashion of the word. So this is not just, you know, them being drawn and attracted to you um, physically. You know, this isn't the only reason why they watch it. They, like I said, they like the way that you... Um, you know, the way you express yourself. They feel stimulated by you. Uh, they feel that you're very spiritual, very strong, very wise, um, very confident, you know, very very beautiful, very powerful, very creative, strong. You know, they see you as that, you know, very strong and courageous, divine, feminine energy. Someone who's a master manifester, someone who's very abundant. You know, very loving, very radiant energy. This is what attracts them to you. You know, and maybe someone else, you know, kind of like was trying to mirror that energy because they knew, you know, somehow the person you're attracting, that's what they liked about you. So they tried to emulate because I get a sense of someone trying to, I don't know, I'm just hearing they hate but they can't duplicate you know, and you have Judas here, and then you have this magic, so somebody's doing spells and putting some sort of voodoo on someone, but this yoke has been broken, and it's been broken by the angels, by your spirit team, by your spiritual parents, and there are breakthroughs. I feel ba Baba Ogun, and look at this, somebody is trying to this is not communicating, you know, somebody trying to delay someone from taking action as well, you know, somebody really trying to have someone up in their head, okay, why is action here, thank you, so someone, see that, what did I just say, someone trying to block someone or delay someone from taking action, and then we have blocka, 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 and this is with the, um, action so someone was trying to block someone from taking action but everything is going to work out fairly and justly this is like wish fulfillment so you're going to be happy you're going to be there's going to be forward movement progress success in this situation whatever was being blocked someone is going to um break free you know the yoke has been broken so they will be able to take action move forward the seven the 17 this is like, you know, infinite possibilities, so remaining hopeful, optimistic, 
you know, saying, sending up those prayers, petitions, affirmations, and receiving the download, receiving the assistance from spirit. And that's why this victory was here, because there's going to be victory in this outcome. There's a victorious outcome. Yeah, somebody was trying to have somebody stuck on some sort of emotional roller coaster ride, and they had to get off. That's why there was, like, you know, confusion here. Stuck up in their head. What do I do? Where do I go? But I'm going to end it there, Scorpios. I hope that the message is resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. Um, if you are new here, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I want to send a couple of shout outs to a couple of you beautiful souls who gave me love donations. Um, Karen Vanstein, um, Divine Rain, Kesquire, and Kiera Williams. I want to say thank you kindly, my soul sisters, for your love donations. I send it and rotate it back to you all infinitely. I appreciate that. I appreciate you taking the time to just be kind and thoughtful for the readings. And I definitely rotate all of the love and uh, light that you send to me infinitely and instantly. And so it is, so more to be. Thank you all for tuning and tapping in. I wish you all a happy, happy new year. Definitely set up some vision boards for yourselves. Set your intention on new goals, new aspirations, whatever it is that you want to call in or manifest this year. Set up a vision board and call it in. Um, you know, start doing more. Uh, start connecting more to your spirit team, your spiritual parents. Um, start doing more of those um, meditative um, and divine, um, interventive, uh, guidance, because I feel like it will lead you, you know, on your, your path, you know, it will lead you on that particular path that you should be going on. So thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in until next time. I'll shake. Peace.